Whoa, snow? Whoa, that's crazy, right? That's crazy to hear. Snow? I saw Nadine. Oh my God. Global warning is definitely here. Oh my God. Snow? That my dollar is my dollar. And I am going to spend my own dollar. I'm not going to let nobody spend my dollar and decide what I can have for it. If I come there and I order a Pacific thing and I don't get it, I'm going to let you know. If you give me your left cheek to kiss, I'm going to take my business somewhere else because your business is not the only business out here. There are business coming up. There are new business that are going to be made and there are older business that are out here too. So First of all, you're working with customers. Where's the customer service going? And this is the time with customer service customer service needs to be a freaking one because now people are watching their pennies they're deciding who they're going to go and i'm gonna tell you something that's right now i'm gonna go with who treats me good you don't treat me good i'm not dealing with you no more and i'm gonna tell you why i'm not dealing with you period and that is it i got my order i got everything but i pulled over because i wanted to get this out <laughs> child i'm so mad i can't get out my earring hold on Cheese sticks and fries and fries and pickles. It was supposed to be okra. And no, it was supposed to be the first one was supposed to be okra and pickles. Mm -hmm. The second one was supposed to be fries and cheese sticks. Okay. And then four rolls. Child, I'm so tired of these people being on defense. You know, like, even though, ma'am, ma'am, I didn't take your order. Okay, you didn't take my order, but still. If you mess up on my order, I'm give, I'm sitting up here thinking like, wait a minute, I'm going to pay for Oprah when I just paid for two-piece fish dinner. And she sitting up there about to ring me up. Y'all can understand why I was upset. A lot of my spirit lights left comments. They said they understand my frustration. They was upset with me. And, and at first, I really start feeling like, dang. I start feeling like, was it personal? Because right now, people need jobs. Give those jobs to somebody who's so excited that you got a customer at your window because they're going to get a paycheck along with taking care of your customers. Give the job to somebody who want it because obviously these people don't want their jobs. I'm still moving out, Flower Kitchen. I really am. I am in my new place. So the place where you see the furniture, I am going to try to stay there until God say, baby, daughter, it's time to get your house. Until I know that's right. I'm in a Ooh, ooh. Oh my god, this marinade is gonna be so good. You see that? Taco Bell is offering free food, free uniforms, scholarship program, apply for in, in the location, career opportunity for growth. Again. Starting all over again. Hey, it's gonna be tough. Yeah. All or not. But we're gonna make it. Hey. Starting all over again. <laughs> it's gonna be rough. All on us. But we're, we're gonna, gonna make, make it. it. You're hot. You look good. I'm hungry. I'm so hungry, but I'm excited about dinner. Oh my God, it's so worth marinating your salmon. And I marinated a couple more pieces and I put it in the freezer. So next time I want salmon, I won't have to marinate it. I just have to defrost it out of the freezer. But dinner is going to be so freaking delicious. And try it, buy it, sell it. She sent me some elderberry tea. And I made that with blueberry and it was so good. I added a little bit of honey and I already feel better.
watching the vlogs. I appreciate it. Make sure you like, comment, and if you're not already subscribed to the ASMR The Truth family, please subscribe, especially if you like the vlogs. It does encourage me to edit them and get them up. <laughs> But mainly why I chimed in is to let you know that when you put your salmon in the refrigerator to be marinated, you can also put it in the freezer if it's going to be a couple of days before you cook it. Because salmon tastes so much better when it is absolutely fresh. But if you're going to eat it that day, just put your salmon in the refrigerator marinated for a good six hours. That's what I do. Six to seven hours is a good enough time for your salmon to get marinated. But you know the best marinated, marinating your food overnight is like the best. But I just want to let you know that. Don't just marinate it and sit it in the refrigerator for days. Put that in the freezer. But if you're going to eat it right then and there, that night or that afternoon, just put it in your refrigerator so it can be at a cool temperature and stay fresh. <laughs> hey Spirit of Lights, my battery dying, that would happen. Okay, so, um, the rest of my salmon is in the oven. I have two pieces in the oven and two pieces in the air fryer. I marinated the salmon earlier, as you saw. And the black rice is done, and I seasoned it with garlic salt, garlic powder, cumin, and onion salt. And when I tell you it tastes delicious, it is freaking awesome. Freaking awesome. I told y'all that I was cooking asparagus earlier. So I added some ginger and I can't believe it not butter and pepper and the the asparagus came out so freaking delicious. You see a couple you see a couple spots Miss Kumi made in the eating on it. Let's check on the salmon. Ooh, ooh, oh my god, this marinade is gonna be so good. You see that? Taco Bell is offering free food. Free uniform, scholarship program, apply for in, in the location, career opportunity for growth, pressure discounts, GED program, rain program, receive money before payday. Wow, isn't that something? Oh my God. Yeah, I came to come get me a Power Bowl and I went right past Taco Bell because, Taco Bell because they don't change the sign. The sign is pretty though, but it's, it seems plain. Uh, um, it's white and purple almost and I knew I felt like that's a big bell I saw the big bell, but then I was like no that ain't Taco Bell for some reason I didn't think it was the the white bell. I don't know Thank you. No problem. You have a good night. You too okay. All right, I'm trying to think if I want to go to Wendy's and get me a um Frosty, I want something sweet. Yeah, so I went and got the Frosties. I got me and Nadine the Frosty. The large that got so small. This is a large, y'all. Uh, uh -uh, that looked like the small from five years ago. It's getting smaller and smaller every single time, but I haven't had a Frosty in so long. Uh, I'm gonna put it in the freezer so when I want something sweet, after I eat, then I'll have it. I hope y'all having a good night. I know it's snowing in some places and it's cold in other places. Yeah, so I'll see y'all. I'll see y'all again soon. Yummy. Yummy.
yummy, yummy. Good morning, Spiller Lights. Good morning. Uh, we on our way. Take care of some stuff this morning. I don't know why it take me so long to freaking get out the house. I got up literally three times this morning just to let out water. Like I just was like releasing water, and I'm so glad because I was looking at my fingers. Don't pay no mind to this. <laughs> I brought my nail with me. I'm going to fix it. It came off yesterday. But um, I noticed that my fingers are trying to go back down. And my, my feet and my ankles not as swollen anymore. And um, But I'm still dealing with um, being like having inflammation. I've been doing pretty good um, through the night. And then this morning, I got up again for the third time at 7 a.m. And I was like, okay, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and start my day. And then Nadine came in and said, Mom... Okay, uh, we got an appointment at one o'clock. I was like, okay. She was like, so what you want to do? I was like, well, let's eat breakfast and let's just start heading out at 10. Yeah, it's 10.39 and we only got like uh, one o'clock going to be here so fast because we got several things to do and we always constantly doing stuff. Then Nadine this morning started moving the garden stuff out of the truck finally. It's been riding around with us four days. <laughs> For four days it's been riding around with us. Okay. Um, put that right. Okay, y'all, my light just went out. Let me start the car. Hold on. And um, yeah, Nadine went inside to get uh, the Xfinity stuff so that we can return that to them so we're not charged for equipment because we no longer have Xfinity. I mean, that, that was a really, really long relationship that is now mm, over. And I ain't going to say it's over for good. It's just over for right now because, you know, we, we, we have another provider now. But it was a, a good relationship. Um, I enjoyed Xfinity. I enjoyed the... I let go of the, the Comcast cable and stuff like that. You know, they're the same company. And now I did... And then I just had, like, the internet. And... Uh, yeah. Everything is just, like, different now. Everything. But now, we're on our way to take care of a few things. Like I said earlier... It's not really sunny out here. It's actually looked like it's going to pour down a rain. I'm going to get on the road because um, we're starting to run a little late. So y'all see me popping in and out. Starbucks got the Impossible Breakfast Sandwich plus the Southwest Veggie Wrap. That looked pretty good, right? I don't even think I tried that. And then they got the little egg bites up there. That's what I had this morning. They didn't make me egg bites with um, some cabbage, some lettuce, like a salad. And she put some um, grapes and uh, blueberries in it. It was pretty good. But... Shout out banana nut loaf cake looks so good for me. I might get it, but I might save it till I get home. 
That look good. I'm getting ready to get me a um, pistachio almond milk. Hey, give me one more, okay. They got a cheese and fruit protein box. The cheese look good to me. <laughs> I got grapes. I ain't got no apples at home. And I got crackers, but I ain't got no cheese. This $5.45. Good lord. I don't know if y'all ever tried the oatmeal, but the oatmeal's pretty good too. All right, sorry about that. What can I get started for you today? Yes, can I have a venti iced almond milk and can you add two pumps of the pistachio sauce to it? What else can I do for you? Can you add two pumps of the pistachio sauce to it and um, two stevias? Two stevias? Gotcha. Thank you. That's it. Okay. I'll oh, wait, wait. Good. I'm sorry. Add a banana nut, um, banana nut loaf. All right, do you want that warmed up? No. All right, it's gonna be a 7.25. Thank you. Yeah, I don't need it warmed up because I'm going to take it home with me for later. When I want something sweet. Because I ain't got nothing. I ain't got nothing sweet at home like to really enjoy. I got to go um, food shopping. Hey, it's been like last time I was talking to y'all about the, the young lady who needed advice on what to do as a single mom after 10 years a marriage has been dead. And then my camera had cut off for me. So I'm going to play the last clips to the last vlog. <laughs> because Lord knows I'm still trying to learn how to use my phone. And my camera uh, battery only seemed to last like an hour and a half. Once it's dead, it's dead. So let me go to the first clip. And in the first clip, I had left a message. I was telling Flower Kish uh, that I was in the, the temporary play, uh, apartment and um, tried to explain to her. Or I left a message for Flower Kish just letting her know that I did um, move and that I am in the new apartment. I'm still moving out of the temporary place. I'm still moving out, Flower Kish. I really am. I am in my new place. So the place where you see the furniture, I am going to try to stay there until God say, baby, daughter, it's time to get your house. Until I know that's right. I'm in a, a position where I'm able to get a home, I'm going to try to stay there. If I don't stay there, it's because I'm going to upgrade maybe to bigger. But for right now, I'm truly happy where I am and I feel safe. And thank you so much, girl. I love it too. I really do. I love it. Every morning, I thank God for it. Now this is the next one. The freaking record on my phone. Thank you, Flower Kish. I really appreciate that. <laughs> Y'all are the best. Yes. Thank you so much. I love my spirit of lights. Y'all are absolutely the best. Now what I want to say are. is Flower Kish. Um, what I was seeing oh, this day, I'm shaking, I'm shaking the phone all over. Let me get it right, y'all. Hold on. Let me stop phone. it right here. Now, hold on. Let me stop it. <laughs> I do worse when it comes to this freaking phone. I'm still learning. Okay, let me go to the next one. He might be the one that decide that he don't want to be with you no more. Uh huh. And then you go get yourself a lawyer. Uh huh. Don't be waiting for him to make the decision. To leave you, girl. Shoot. After ten years, you already know it's dead. Yeah, he might not be waiting on you. Mm -hmm. He might be already moving on. But I would definitely start putting away a little change. Mm -hmm. Whenever I have to buy groceries or when I have to take care of stuff, start start putting away a little something for yourself. Start yeah. building for yourself. Mm -hmm. Definitely get a part-time job. Do something. And start thinking about what you're going to do. Mm-hmm. But don't be up and leaving. Because people root for you. They all for you in the beginning, girl. I'm telling you. Yep, they'll tell you to leave that man. The moment they, that you need to stay with somebody and you can't pay them rent or contribute, they might not be as supportive once you don't left your husband's household. So, and that's or the you, truth. you and your husband's household. Because it is you and your husband's. And, and even though you're a stay-at-home mom, you contribute just as much as he did. Because 
because you took care of the house and he took he, he worked outside the house to take care of the finances and take care of the house is hard but you are just as equal as important mm -hmm. so if y'all decide together that this is not working for you he's um 50 percent responsible for your finances maybe 100 percent together depending on the courts some courts 100 girl yeah during your time are separating from him if y'all deciding to separate um you know okay so let me know what y'all think what would be y'all advice for this young woman well this woman i don't know how young she is but she sounds like she's young what would be your advice for her being in a 10-year marriage where there's no love and nothing but arguments and resentfulness and not being able to get along. What would you tell them? So a lot of y'all did respond back to uh, me asking for y'all to leave her advice, but y'all basically was letting us know your experience and you know what you've been through and that's in the last vlog so i just want to tell y'all thank y'all so much for participating in the comment area i really appreciate it okay i'm headed to my next stop and i'll talk to y'all then and taste my drink i got me two pumps this time so i'm hoping that it's good Mmm. Oh, yeah. Next time I ask for three, depending on how I'm feeling. <laughs> you know what? Two is perfect. And the day just make you feel... It feel like it's a, a sleepy day. I'm already feeling, like, kind of tired. Already. The sun that came out a little bit, so I'm happy about that. At least it's not raining and I ain't got to drive home in the rain. <sighs> but I'm just get comfortable for a second. So, <sighs> today, uh, I, I got a few things. I told you I had a few things to do. I got, I took care of a couple of errands. I think I got like two more errands and then I'm done and then I'm headed home. I'm glad that we're going to be done. It's not taking me all day to get done what we need to do. Okay, so yesterday, <laughs> let me give an update on yesterday. I did get to Taco Bell and I got the Power Bowl. I was really excited about it when I saw it on the menu. It looked really, really good. So... But before I asked for the taco bowl, I did ask for, for a taco bowl. And the young lady said, they don't, it's not on the menu no more. They discontinued it. Y'all remember the Fiesta Bowl? They discontinued it. I was, I was a little disappointed, but so then I started to just get like two chalupas, one with black beans and one with, you know, maybe rice or something like that. 
And she's like, you sure you don't want the power bowl? And I start looking at the bowls. And I was like, oh, okay, what's in the power bowl? So she told me everything was in it, right? So I told her to leave out the rice and the tomatoes. So I'm excited about the power bowl. I'm thinking I'm going to have black beans, lettuce, cheese, sour cream, guacamole. I'm all excited about it, right? And I had got some nachos, cheese. I didn't want the, 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 the cheese. I just wanted the nachos. So I get home and I do a video. This is the power bowl. They put everything on a box on paper. It's just... This is not a bowl. Now, now that y'all saw a clip of that video, y'all can understand why I was upset. A lot of my spirit lights left comments. They said they understand my frustration. They was upset with me. And, and at first, I really started feeling like, dang. I started feeling like, was it personal? Because I was thinking like, I'm going to be honest. I was just so upset when I saw my food. Because I was thinking, why would you take somebody's letters? And they avocado and sour cream and they beans, wet beans, and put it on a cardboard box. One, what about the car? Two, the box is going to get all heavy and soggy. And then three, it was laid on paper. And I was like, where's the freaking bowl at? And they then told me, she said, when I hand to, when the lady hand me the box and the other stuff on top of it. And like, you know, so I handed to Nadine, Nadine put it in the back seat. She said she did feel like it was kind of weird. But she was saying, oh, the bowl must be inside the box. So we didn't check it, and we normally don't have no issues with Taco Bell. I don't even remember having ever having an issue with Taco Bell, so I didn't think I didn't check the food. So by the time I sat down, got home, and was set up to fume, I'm starving. Like I was so freaking hungry. There was no more going back out, you know, running back out there. Now, when I before I came in the house with the food. It was a lot of effort for me even leaving the house to go get my food. So my mindset wasn't, I was going to have to run back out there and drive all the way back to Taco Bell. And for me, Taco Bell wasn't like up the street and around the corner. You know what I'm saying? It was, it was some ways away. So when I looked at it, I was like, oh, I was so upset. I want to call the manager. So Nadine said, mom, wait till you calm down before you call the manager. And then I thought about it. I said, you know what? I don't want to call the manager because I probably just need to go up there. I probably just need to go up there and tell them how my food was served. And I was upset. I said, you know what? You know what? I'm going to just go ahead and do the best I can, put my food on the plate. I'm going to eat my food and I'm going to calm down. So the more and more I ate my food, the more and more upset I got, right? I was so mad. I was like, oh my God. So I told myself, okay, that's it. Not that I'm not going to go to Taco Bell no more. Because I like Taco Bell. I have no issue with Taco Bell. That was my first time having an issue. And it's something on the menu that now I know I won't order. I will not order the Power Bowl. Because I don't want nobody handing me a bowl of food that's on a box. And the first thought in my mind is, when I'm finished with my food, if a box came with it, I usually scrape it in the box and then I trash it. It's like trash. You know what I mean? So I was like, treat, I felt like my food was treated like trash. I was like really, really upset about it. So then after I ate and the video was edited, it was put up. I then I was so upset. I never even went to the comments to even participate. I waited till the next day. And when I went to my surprise in the comments, I all my spirit of life showed up. They showed up. They was very supportive. Thank y'all. Thank you. And they let me know 
Some of them said, no, that's not a power bowl. It comes in a bowl. A lot of people explained that they got it before. And then a few people said that their stuff came on a box and they were upset. They were so upset. They felt like their food was, was treated like trash too. So that's when I was like, oh, okay. I, I'm not going to take this personal. This is what they serve in. So this is something I'm not going to order anymore. So I'm not upset with Taco Bell, but I do feel like the power bowl costs a lot of money you are talking seven to ten dollars and my food wasn't even worth in my opinion 50 cents it wasn't worth nothing it had nothing to it it was just lettuce that looked like it's from the bottom of the barrel and it was a spoonful of wet beans that had barely eight beans inside of the wetness you know and then it had wet sour cream avocado that all mixed in so it was just like and I'm an avocado person. I'm a sour cream person. And I mixed that stuff. I would have tore it up if it was in a bowl. I gave up on it. I just, I was just so upset, y'all. I'm sitting up here watching all of these seagulls uh, fly past me. They so huge. See how they sitting right there on top of the truck? They so big. Yeah, they sitting around because they saying, hey, this is a fish market. As soon as they, they put out the trash, I'm about to get me some fish. That's exactly what they saying. Yeah, something about to go down because they can, they still get in company. Birds are just showing up. The whole family showing up. They so freaking huge. Oh my God. And see, it's a big old golf over there. <sighs> I'm near a whole lot of water. So you see a whole lot of them all the time. And every time I see them, they just seem to be getting bigger and bigger. They done took my attention. I, t I, I decided, okay, it's nothing to, you know, really like hold on to and stay upset about. I'm just not going to order that particular meal anymore. I just won't do it. I definitely won't do it. So I was, I was feeling better the next morning. Next morning I woke up when I got up before I read the comments, I felt really good. I was like, wow, I feel good today. You know, in spite of what happened yesterday, I might've been feeling good because before I went to bed, I started thinking about everything I got in my kitchen. And I said, okay, I gotta soak some beans, soak some rice. I gotta cut up some cabbage. I gotta cut up some lettuce. Uh, get me some seasons out, cut up me some avocado, make me um, some guacamole. And Spirit Girl gonna have her own taco bowl plus my taco was gluten freaking free The taco bowl that I was eating was gluten free. It was so freaking delicious. And I still got more time. It's four come in a box. And I only used two, one for Nadine and one for myself. And I was so full. I literally just wanted to eat every single bit of my taco bowl. I just wanted to like take in the moment and say, yeah, this is exactly what I deserve. I deserve every bit of this. <laughs> because it because of yesterday. But you know. You can't just take everything and just feel like you're so angry inside that you can't get over it. Because if it wasn't for me receiving what I received, I wouldn't even have thought about making my own. And mine's turned out really, really good. It turned out really good. It was worth being upset so that I can make my own taco bowl. So now when I think about a taco bowl, I probably would end up making my own because it was pretty good. And I also used the black rice. Yeah. Okay, one of my spirit likes asked me, Spirit, where do you get the black rice from? Any grocery store. I'm getting my black rice from Kroger's, 
um, Whole Food. And if you don't find it at your grocery store, go to Amazon. Go to Amazon and see if you can find you some black rice and order it. And one of my spirit likes the spirit. I believe that if I ate black rice, I'm going to really like it. Girl, yes, you're going to like it. You're going to love it. It's really good. Um, let me see if I can explain it a little bit. It's between white rice and quinoa. When you cook it, that's the feel that it gives you. Between white rice and quinoa, if you get past the... The, the blackness of the rice, you're going to love it. You're going to absolutely love it. You got the scallops. I love being by the water. It's so, so peaceful. And it smells so good out here today, like by the water. It just smells so good. I don't know if that comes from just being stuck in a house, but it's so beautiful. Can I have two, um, two piece fish uh, dinner? One with fries and one with uh, okra. Okay, uh, let me check the house. Okay, sure. okay. And did you want cocktail and tartar sauce with them? Let me get, uh, yeah, cocktail sauce, tartar sauce, and hot sauce. And then the second uh, two piece fish dinner. Do the fish dinner come with one side or two sides? Well, you're saying the dinner still comes with two sides. The combo comes with a side and a drink. Okay, yeah, the dinner. Okay, so, so with. Go ahead. Let's see. Let me have the second fish dinner with cheese sticks and fries. Okay, and the first one with fries and okra. Make it fries and uh, fried pickles. Okay. Do you want ranch for those? Yes. Okay. Anything else I can ask for you? Can I have four rolls? You said four rolls? Yes. Okay. Anything else? That'd be it. There's a little 20, 15 degrees of the window. Okay, thank you. Okay, do you have honey mustard and like um some type of sweet heat sauce or something like that? Uh, Jalapeno ranch. Okay, let me have that. Okay. The honey mustard. Okay. How many each do you want? Just one or two? One is good. Okay, hey, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, I'm ordering my food for um, the ASMR video tonight. And I don't know what else that I'm going to do with that, but from here I'm on my way to the post office and then I should be done with my day. Today was a pretty good day. It wasn't too bad. I got through everything pretty easy. But I know my dinner's gonna be good tonight. I got a taste for um, some good fried fish, so tonight gonna be a good night. See the rolls? Okay, no rolls. Ah, I always gotta get back in line and go get the rolls. Y'all, yeah. so you're about to see me go back up to the window. I was having pretty much a really good day, but we had been waiting. She had told us to pull up and wait, and we had been waiting between 18 and 20 minutes before we even had got our food, and even then we didn't have an issue. I think the fact that I was waiting and then I come back around and just not having 
the person not having good customer service towards me, not apologetic. That was it for me. I think I think I just had it. I had it. I think I had it uh, because I had been having a bad week dealing with bad customer service. Get our money back, okay? I'm back in line waiting on my fries, my rolls, and my okra. And see, we got too far to go to just pull off. We have. To, I'm learning my lesson. Just check my food. Okay, you said you said the four rolls, the fries, and the okra. Yes. You don't have okra on your receipt. Okay, that's fine. I'll pay for it, but that's okay. what I asked for. But I got a two-piece fish. Hold on. I got two two-piece fish dinner. You told me they come with two sides, right? Yes. So, um, it, did you charge put, me for a two-piece fish dinner? She put fries. And even though you didn't put okra, you put fries. I was supposed to get the okra. Okay, ma'am, I didn't take your order. You didn't take my, okay. Oh. Okay, so what am I paying for? So you're saying that cheese sticks and fries and fries and pickles? It was supposed to be okra and it's, no. It was supposed to be the first one was supposed to be okra and pickles. Mm -hmm. The second one was supposed to be fries and cheese sticks. Okay. And then four rolls. Child, I'm so tired of these people being on defense. You know, like even if ma'am, ma'am, I didn't take your order. Okay, you didn't take my order, but still, if you mess up on my order, I'm giving, I'm sitting up here thinking like, wait a minute, I'm going to pay for okra when I just pay for two piece fish dinner, and she. Sitting up there about to ring me up. Okay, the fries is in here too? Okay. Well, I must have a really complicated order. And I was sitting there waiting and waiting and I was telling Nadine, how come everybody getting their food and we still sitting here waiting? And then when she came out, I'm thinking, okay, she got everything together. Come out with half my order, and I'm getting ready, like, head home. I would have been so upset, and I, I don't live nowhere near Chicken Express. I would have had to come, I wouldn't have came all the way back. I just would have been mad. But I'm learning to check my food, y'all. Make sure y'all check the food. Thank you. You have a wonderful day. You too. Thank goodness the sweet one was there, the one that has his nails uh, painted black. He's always so sweet. Okay, so I got my order, I got everything, but I pulled over because I wanted to get this out. <laughs> Child, I'm so mad I can't get out my earring. Hold on. I'm so sick of these folks. I really am. And, and I have to say this because <sighs> when you're the customer, when you're the customer, you're supposed to be treated right, okay? Now, I like Chicken Express. But there's just some stuff that's uncalled for. Okay, I was telling the girl, you gave me. She said, ma'am, I didn't take your order. Okay, first of all, she was the person at the window who handed me my food. Now, I, I don't know how fast food work or how people work in a restaurant. I'm going to say fast food. But when someone take the order and they take the money, when the person at the window hand you the food, they work hand in hand. They work hand in hand. I feel like the person at the window that hand you the food should make sure that your order is correct just as much as the person who take your money, make sure that they're charging you for the right thing. And the people that work in, work together, so a lot of places, one person take your money and the other one hand your food. It is their responsibility to make sure that we're getting our right order. When I say you gave me, and she immediately say, well, I didn't take your order, I'm sitting there looking at her like, okay, I don't know the person personally who took my money. Am I supposed to go back to her and say, hey, you took my money, but you didn't um, give me my correct food? You gave me my food at the window. You should look through the box, look on a receipt, and say, you know what? This order not correct. Or this is what was in the box. Because even though she defending the fact that she didn't take my order, you still was missing the fries and you was missing the roll. The fries and roll is on the receipt. When, when I look at the receipt, the, re, the receipt says fries and cheese sticks, pickles and, and, and uh, didn't it say okra? Didn't it say okra? She charged you for fries. Okay. You're supposed to get okra. She, okay, the, the, the receipt 
set fries. She was supposed to give me okra. Now, she charged me for a two-piece dinner, and a two-piece dinner comes with two sides, right? So I'm asking her, I'm thinking, okay, she didn't charge me. I'm gonna go ahead and pay for my okra because I want it. But well, okra wasn't on your receipt. So I'm getting ready to pay for it. So I'm and then I realized, wait a minute, I paid for a two-piece dinner. I don't all I need to do is tell her I want my okra and she need to fix my order. And the the I'm so tired of these people having an attitude when something go wrong. First of all, you're working with customers. Where's the customer service going? And this is the time with customer service customer service needs to be a freaking one because now people are watching their pennies they're deciding who they're going to go and i'm gonna tell you something that's right now i'm gonna go with who treats me good you don't treat me good i'm not dealing with you no more and i'm gonna tell you why i'm not dealing with you now it's bad enough that i'm sitting in line waiting on my food and i'm looking back looking back like why is everybody getting their food and ain't, we ain't get hours yet? She said we were waiting on fries. And I said to myself, most people that order from there, chicken and fries, fish and fries, they're going to get fries. Why is all these cars getting their bag and our food not here? She comes to the car, I'm thinking like, oh, okay, she got my food. And then half my food is missing. And, and, and I feel like a lot of these places... Decent. I'm gonna say I, I'm not gonna blame like the owner because the owner a lot of times don't work in a place. But at the same time, you are responsible for how your establishment is being ran. And I feel like these employees are are preying on the fact that people pulls off. And once you pull off, you get home. Now you come back and you say something's wrong with your food. You they on the fence. Why are you on the fence? Fix it. It's so simple to just fix the person. If she would have said, okay, I, uh, okay, we're, we're going to give you your okra and we're going to give you your rose. Hold on. It would have been over. She's sitting here, literally uh, all um, vibe, all messed up and all scrunched up now because I done said something about how they messed up my order. And she immediately want to blame the responsibility on the young lady who rung me up. The young lady who rung me up, rung me up wrong. That's true. She didn't, she met, she didn't uh, have my okra up there. But how does that explain that she had the rolls and she had the fries up there, but they weren't in the bag? How does that explain that? You still on the fence? You still on the fence? Because either way, you're both wrong. So I don't need to need you to blame the other person. Just fix my order. And I'm, I'm tired of this. I think I'm mad right now because first I dealt with my food being put on a box treat it as if I'm not about we matter we spend our money with you we matter we're customers you don't treat our food like it's trash because guess what you're gonna lose a customer and then when a the customer complain you say to yourself well you know what I don't want to lose that customer because I'm gonna tell you how many times I've been to chick for uh chick express chicken express I've been to chicken express four times four times now, every time, they don't forgot the rolls, and I had to go back around and ask for the rolls. One time, Dream had to drive all the way back. I mean, he was a little upset. He had to go, you know, miles out the way to go get the rolls, but he went all the way back to get the rolls. I went back around in the window and got the rolls a couple of times. I'm like, they they, they known for their rolls, but, they, but you know what? If you don't check your bag, you're not going to have your rolls. Now, I never get upset about the rolls because every time I come back, they say, oh, I'm sorry, here are your rolls. No problem. Now, I'm upset with the fact that she's blaming the other person and not taking responsibility. You don't even have to do that. All you have to do, this is so simple. You forgot my okra. Oh, okay, ma'am, let me check your receipt. Oh, the okra's not up here. So do you want double fries or you want fries and okra? How did you want it? I want okra and pickles with my two-piece fish. Okay, ma'am, I'm so sorry about that. It's coming right on up, period. And that is it. That is it. Like, I swear, I, I feel like I go through this three times a year with freaking places. And I, I hate when I find a place that I really like, but then the employees are terrible. I'm gonna tell you something. Right now, people need jobs. Give those jobs to somebody who's so excited that you got a customer at your window because they're gonna get a paycheck along with taking care of your customers. Give a job to somebody who want it because obviously these people don't want their job. Yeah, so when you get your food, make sure you check your food. And I think that a lot of times when we buy food or we spend money out here, we're putting 
that trust that word trust is so huge that we're trusting that we're going to get what we pay for and that they're going to value us and that we're going to matter as customers and what i'm finding out and what i'm learning is that not every business care about their customers they don't even value your dollar because if they did they would make sure their employees understand that their their goal is to keep their customers to keep their customers coming back and making sure that their customers are treated good they was instilled that into their employees and doing right now this is a time where there's a lot of people who don't have jobs people want jobs and to be hiring people that chooses how they want to treat your customer is not cute it's not cute at all it's wrong so at this point i'm just going to really start remembering that my dollar is my dollar and I am going to spend my own dollar. I'm not going to let nobody spend my dollar and decide what I can have for it. If I come there and I order a specific thing and I don't get it, I'm going to let you know. If you give me your left cheek, your left cheek to kiss, I'm going to take my business somewhere else because your business is not the only business out here. There are business coming up. There are new business that are going to be made and there are older business that are out here too. So you don't have to go to one place. And if a person treats you bad when you go somewhere and you spend your money with them, take your money somewhere else. Get somebody else to try. Try another place. And when you find people or a company that treat you good, then you, you continue giving them your dollar to support them and make sure they stay in business. But don't keep on rewarding or going back to a company that don't value you. If they, Because it's important that when a customer is not happy, that they fix it. They fix it right away. That is very, very important. And I'm realizing that that's important to me too. When I'm dealing with businesses, when you make a mistake, or even if you didn't make a mistake, because when I remember when I used to work in certain places even if I didn't make a mistake when a person come back and tell me something wrong the first thing I say is I'm sorry let me see what happened the girl didn't even tell me sorry she didn't even say I apologize let me check your receipt she didn't even come she was so messed up with her vibe that she didn't even come back to the window the young man came back to the window and he said i'm sorry about that and he handed me my food she didn't even say i'm sorry even in the very beginning she just was looking at me and i'm sitting up there and i'm saying to myself i felt like she knew that she didn't give me all my food because when because the, the only reason why i feel that way is because why would you be on the defense it's just a few rolls some fries and some okra that you're dealing with the whole time that you're working so why would you be on the defense that's not in the bag it's just a mistake just fix it so now at this point I'm not dealing with that no more nope I'm gonna check my stuff and I'm gonna make sure that whatever I pay for I get and if I don't get it, I'm definitely going to speak up. I'm definitely going to say something. And if I'm giving attitude, I'm probably going to ask for my money back. And I'm not going to deal with them no more. That's exactly what I'm going to do. Because there's so many businesses out here trying to make it. There's so many businesses out here that want my money. Okay? Look at them obviously winning. Don't make me go hit the bank. Take out a hundred to show you our pockets are different. Hmm. Hey, spare lights. I got to... Trying to heat one here. It's, it's getting freaking cold. I thought I just broke another nail, child. I never get a chance to put that nail back on. Ooh, I gotta turn the heat up in here. Oh my god, you can feel the chill going through your body. And then I was looking for my jacket earlier. I realized I left the house with no sweater, no jacket. Like, what? And I feel better now. My son called me. He said, Mom, where you at? I said, Oh, I'm on my way home. He says, Um, I thought you was going to stop by and see me. I was like, um, shoot, Dream, I'm already headed out. I got a couple more things to do here. I was like, why? He was like, you know, I thought maybe you want to play the game or something. I said, uh-uh, uh-uh, nope. <laughs> I ain't letting you beat me up until I get some practice. I'm <laughs> so it's like, Bob, the little nightmares 
is is two is out and I was like okay and he said so I told him I, I'll let him know when I'm coming at first I told him next week but then I thought about it yeah they say Houston Texas or Texas a cold front is coming we're gonna get snow <sighs> whoa snow whoa that's crazy right that's crazy to hear snow I told Nadine, oh my God, global warning is definitely here. Oh my God, snow? Child, we do not have no idea of how bad it's about to get. We don't have no idea. When I vlogged this, I had no idea that I was not ready. I'm here in Texas and I was not ready for the winter storm. So y'all make sure y'all... Stay tuned, subscribe, like, comment. Thank you so much for watching the vlogs. And I'm going to see you in the next one. Bye. Yeah, they say it's going to be real cold next week. I'm sitting up here shaking because I've been literally holding my water. I got to hurry up and make it home. Oof, when I make it home, I'm going straight to the bathroom, y'all. But yeah, I definitely feel better. My son told me, he says, Mom, let me tell you something. That was only, they, you know, that was one uh, location. He said, don't judge all the locations with that one location. He's like, yeah, because whenever I go to different locations, I'll never have no issues. You know, he said, so don't judge, you know, every location the same. I said, you know what? You're right, Dream. That's the only location that I would go to because I like, you know, I just, I'm one of those people. I'm very loyal. When I like a place and I find a place that I like, I kind of stick to it, you know, but maybe I need to change it up a little bit. Maybe I don't need to be just being loyal to one company or one business. Maybe I do need to give, you know, uh, try different places and get other people a chance. It's just that when it comes to my money and my food, I don't like being disappointed. I'd be so upset when my food is not right. And then I get so happy when my food is right. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, I said, okay, Dream, then I'll try a different location. He said, yeah, don't give up on the location because I know how you like this. All right. Testing, one, two, one, two. It's been a long day. And you just want to go away. You can't sleep at night. And now I'm here. I can't promise tomorrow. But you're going to fill out a day. We can tangle it away. Now I'm here.